Hey, everybody, how are you? Oh my goodness gracious. How are we doing all the beautiful people in the world? Did you know this is a wonderful world with all beautiful people? Jimmy Clip said that. Let me see who else is here. Let's see if I can find me somewhere. There you go, there you go. Let's share this out, Sharon. Let's share this out. How are you all doing? Listen, beautiful people, I have something to share with you real quick, real quick, because there's some things that needs to be said and I'm gonna say it. And then I'm gonna say, I said what I said, what I said in the words of the great Mimi, right? So I just wanted to stop in for a minute and ask you a question. What you waiting for? Hmm? What, are you, what, what are you waiting for? What is the hesitancy in you walking in your divine purpose and your calling? That, that's my question to you. So while I scroll here and I try to share this out here, you, ex you explain to me, explain to me, beautiful people, what are you waiting for? What is the hesitancy? Can you explain to me? Because those were questions that I needed to ask myself. There were questions that I needed to know. What was I waiting for? Um, sometimes it's as if we are in the matrix. We are caught up between what is and what could be. But keep in mind what is, it's already there waiting for you to make a commitment. And so I'm Sharon RN2, CEO. I work with the most amazing people who really do wanna live in extraordinary lives. They are people who wanna to touch, move and inspire others on this planet. And so there are lots of coaches out there. And I always encourage people, get yourself a coach who can truly support you somebody that's resonated and clicking with you, resonating and clicking with what's within you and what you are called to do. Um, you know, those were questions I had to ask myself. I remember being in, in a book a couple years ago and it was called Waiting for the Right Time because I was waiting. I was waiting until the kids were older I was waiting until I had a little bit more money. I was waiting until I, had, I was just scared to tell you the truth. Because sometimes too, when we're making decisions, it's understandable, it's not just us, it's our partners, it's our children, it's everything else and everybody else around us. And sometimes uh, we don't think about ourselves or sometimes we just think too much about ourselves. It's me, 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 me doing this and doing that. And I'm just really, really being honest um, when it's something that I call it the divine download, the people who choose to show up, the people who choose to commit. Because sometimes we make it about the money and it took work around me understanding it's not about the money, it's about the excuses. I'm talking about myself right now, not you. And how I chose to show up because sometimes too, it's a responsibility with it. Sometimes too, we're not able to think outside of ourselves and know that the work that we're called to do and to touch the lives of people all over the world, it sometimes may seem as if it's too heavy and they tell you to dream big, dream big enough until it scares you, right? So my background as a nurse uh, over two decades and uh, working in radio, I've touched I would say hundreds and thousands, and just thinking over those years, it had to have been over millions of lives because it came so easy to me. I press a button, crack the mic, as we say, we don't open the mic, we crack the mic, and then we let it go. And it's been since the 90s. Ooh, I think I just aged myself, right? But it is what it is, all right? I'm thankful and grateful. Okay, so, and over the years, doing a weekly show, years after, ooh, 90 something, ooh, gosh, it's been a long time. Oh, I won't even tell you, but it's been a long time doing that. It had to have been millions of people that I touch with a voice, with somebody else's music, because I don't sing. Yes, as a jock, right? As a disc jock, 
just doing it. Opportunities that came that I said no because of the kids and I didn't want to relocate and I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. And so when we start to say, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, and it's because of the kids and because of so forth, we sometimes develop resentment. We can't be happy for others because we stopped our lives, right? We stopped our lives in order to take care of other people and other stuff, and now we are stuck. And now we're empty nesters, or now we're here, or now I, I mm, right? And so people are in different places and spaces in their lives. We're sometimes in places that um, where we think that, okay, it was the kids. Okay, I'm not married yet, but what if he comes in between now and then? Because he's going to, we're women, it happens. And also to the men there, you know, I'm talking to everybody right now. With hesitancy, we stop the flow of what? is because we're given the power of choice to make a decision to move forward so we can serve people effectively because when we hesitate there's a saying that say when you hesitate you become ineffective and so sometimes too we get excited about what i've done how great i am and i did this but um we're here to serve an extension of the most high and I'm having this conversation for you to understand. Maybe you already understand, because you know, um, for you, okay. So I'm just having this conversation about us understanding the impact that we're supposed to have while we're here, from here to here, from here to here, right? The impact that we're supposed to have on this planet here while we're here in this moment at this time, because once again, the vision that you are given, the provision will be there. I, I always like to say, tell people that it will blow your mind. What will show up when you choose and you decide to commit. However, you're attracting the things in your life because, and I like to say, because I'm from the Caribbean, we're gonna say the vibes. Because if I say vibration, some folks will think like, what is she talking about? The vibes, right? So that's what you're giving off. So what you're bringing into your life is what you're giving off. And so are you ready to rise to the occasion? Are you ready to, when they say do it afraid, do it afraid. Don't let money, don't let anybody, person, situation, or anything stop you from attaining your dreams and going for it. What if, what if you choose to go for it? Imagine you made a decision to walk in your purpose. This is for somebody right here. Drop a line in the comments. Let me know that you're seeing this because I felt this heavy in my spirit that I needed to talk about it. In order for us to get to the next level, listen, it's just not about me and my four and just me and the kids and, and, and just my neighborhood and my city, my town. It's a whole planet. We're a part of this. We're a part of all of this. Choose to take the chance to step into your vision. Get the people who can support you. You did not get this far by yourself. You didn't get all the education by yourself. You didn't test yourself. You didn't do all of this. There was somebody in their God-given talents and their gifting chose to show up, whether they were teaching in a space or create something so that you could be where you are today. This is what it takes when it comes to business. It's nobody taking food off your table or taking something away from you. I want us to have conversations around abundance instead of scarcity and lack. Because when you show up, I love the people that I work in. Because when they show up, I'll tell them, money ain't a problem, money ain't a thing. Or is that a song, right? Well, I gotta pay you and this and that. Yes, you do. But how about you learn and how to create the additional flow of the currency and the income and what it, what it brings to the plate when you choose to do that. People, you are already, somebody already put you into their vision. That was their, that was somebody else's vision. See, not all of us are going to be entrepreneurs, right? But somebody created a vision, they created a clinic, they created something and they said, 
and the, the workflow, right? The, the chart, you know, the little chart in my company. Okay. I have a brick and mortar. I am the CEO, right? There is somebody else, a direct of nursing on me. Then there's this, there's that. I need an RN, I need an LPN, I need this, I need that, 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 that. And they're all there. It's my dream. It's my vision. Wasn't always the case, right? But I knew the people that I needed with the letters behind their names, there's nothing wrong with that because we all had to do what we needed to do. And so because we have those things, those people, they're right there. This is who's this, this is who's the, that's the responsibilities, whether you want to call it standard operating procedures, got it with your policy and procedures or whomever, all of those things. And so when it comes to creating a business and understanding what you are called to do and the principle of it, that you are going to need to invest your time to understand your business because nobody's going to come and do all the work for you and you choose to show up because we have done that when it came or when it comes to our education, we show up. We show up and do what needs to be done. The same thing comes when it comes to your business. And I, I hope that this touched somebody somewhere to just start. Life is going to step in. Things are going to happen. Babies are going to be born. People are going to check out. Things are going to happen. It's not going to stop even when you start your business. But because you chose to show up in a powerful, powerful way. Somebody said to me, make a powerful stand, Sharon, for what it is you say that you want. The people that you're called to serve. You impacting and touching this world in a way that it feels good to your soul. Your awesome power within. Did I tell you that was the name of my company? Yes, it is.